Okay, this is day two of my Igloo Yukon cold locker 50 quart roller cooler ice test. Um, I did a uh, initial review yesterday of the cooler and I'm giving my thoughts on it. So we're going to open it up and you can see. Uh, cooler is maybe a quarter full of ice to, to begin with, and it's still that ice is you know, pretty solid. So um, I would say uh, it's probably close to 70 degrees right now as I'm taking this film. The cooler's been sitting outside for the past couple of days, so so far so good. Um, a couple of features that I'm going to talk about this time that I didn't talk about yesterday. You can see I still have all the stickers on the cooler. I haven't taken any of them off. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, is the molded handles. Molded handles on the cooler, as you can see here, are built into the cooler. There's no rope handles, uh, nothing like that. So I, I like that design. They're out of the way. So there's you know they're sturdy and uh, no problem carrying this cooler. This cooler is probably about 40, 45 pounds uh, empty. So when you add ice and a bunch of drinks, it's going to get heavy, uh, which is one reason why I got one with wheels on it. Other side, same thing. Nice molded handle. Um, probably one of the another feature that I like is that you have the option for either a grip, they call it gripping glide feet. Uh, currently, I have the rubber feet exposed, which would, these would be the grip feet, the feet that would grip the surface more so than the, um, the foot that slides. So if you want, if you, but if you want a foot that slides, you just unscrew, there's a screw underneath here, and you unscrew the foot and flip it over, and you've got your feet that'll slide. That's something that's uh, included with this cooler. Um, so, I'll uh, create another video to talk about or to follow up on where the ice is tomorrow. Um, but that's it for today.